and you see these people who who all have been following this plant-based lifestyle, some for five, six, seven years, some for 20 years, and there's even a couple people that are close to 30 years yeah. that have not had any animal products at all. And not only are they uh, making it and doing it, but they're thriving. I mean, these people are healthy. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you, in our, in our world now, man, you're not seeing many healthy people. You're seeing kids. I mean, you were probably overweight as a child already. Oh, yeah, I've been overweight my entire life. Yeah, yeah. And, and now, you know, you're going on this, this reverse where you're just changing things. And I'll tell you, I have to say, your eyes look so beautiful. His, the whites of his eyes, you probably can't see close up here. The whites of his eyes just are so clear. And your, his, his eyes actually look bluer when then I first met him. I don't know if that's true. No, a lot of people said that. They do. A they lot look of people blue and in they my look eyes. very sparkly, and it's it's just amazing. Yeah, no. I, I, know, I, mean, I know you're feeling better, and I know you have ups and downs, and that's expected. I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's you know. like yeah, and it's uh, there's so many people that say you know raw food will fix everything. Yeah. You know, and it it really like it will help, but it brings out of a lot a lot of stuff that you hide with eating crap food. Absolutely. I and, agree. and when that all comes out, like you have to be ready to handle that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, I've been vegan since April 23rd of this year, mm -hmm. and a lot of emotions have came up, and I haven't been uh, ready to deal with everything. And so you know, it's it's been a little bit of a roller coaster for me. I agree. I go through it too. I know what you're saying. It, yeah, it's like it's, you think about things differently. You look so, at the so world differently. differently. And, and things change. There's definitely some kind of shift that happens. No, absolutely. I mean, and, that, and that's why I said, like, I started for health, but it's became, like, so much more. It's like, now it's for the animals. Now it's for the environment. Now it's just for people. Like, I look at people so different now. Mm -hmm. Like, I used to just want to be a recluse, and, and I, you know, people, I just always saw the bad in people. Mm -hmm. And now, like, I see the good in people. Yeah, you and look it, at it's, them to, it's a total shift. It's, it's just, I can't explain it. I used to think all these vegans were, you know, cuckoo in the head. Because <laughs> you know? I'm like, these people are crazy. What are they talking about? Like, just consciousness and, and connectivity. And now it's like, well, hell, I get it now. I like, know. I understand. That's me now. I'm the kooky one. Yeah. You know, it is kind of funny because I came here years ago. Because I've been, I've been looking at vegetarian and vegan since I was 18 years old. I'm, I'm 46 now. And... I still felt like there was something I was missing. And years ago, when 801010 first came out, Doug Graham was here speaking at Arnold's. And I remember walking out of there thinking, that guy's whacked. <laughs> you know, I mean, who can really truly just live on fruits and vegetables, mostly fruits? And I, I really thought, I left there and I was thinking, I don't know, this guy's kind of kind of <laughs> out there. And it took until last year, a year and a half maybe, until yeah. I realized, no, maybe he does have something because I've been battling stuff and trying to get well and thinking, well, why, in our, why are I not well yet? And, yeah. you know, there's a lot of emotional component to it, as you know. Yeah. But, but there was definitely food stuff that I had to change yet, too. And, you know, people in your life think you're nuts going vegetarian. How could you live without meat? Then when you go vegan, then they're really no, thinking yeah. you're off your rocker. <laughs> then you tell them you're a fruitarian. Yeah. That yeah. does not make sense to the average bear. Yeah, <laughs> you I, know, it I, really I, doesn't. I haven't introduced that yet uh, to any of my friends, and I'm, I'm working on that. That's the ultimate end game for me is to become a fruitarian yeah and that, that it's like a goal it's like a goal because the truth is you see so many people doing well on it and why not try it what does it hurt yeah you know? yeah well that's what i tell you everybody lose everybody's and you like, feel better everybody's <laughs> like oh you're a vegan i like i could never do that like well yeah you can't as long as you have that mindset you're never going to do something if you don't say let, let me, me give try it a try it. like i tell everybody try it for a week or two i usually say two because mm -hmm. you know the first week it's going to be a rough. It's going to be a little rough. Yeah. Because people go through some symptoms. Mm -hmm. So I say, give it two week. Give it two weeks. Eat all you want in the in that two week period. Eat all you want. Mm -hmm. And you will know. Yeah. And you can, that, I mean, you can you, eat you'll feel it. it. Yeah. yeah. You, I mean, yeah. you will, you you'll will feel, feel so better. much different. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, it's just it's amazing. Well. I'm proud of what you're doing, man. And I well, see a change you. in you from, what was that, August? From August till now, I see a huge change in you. And you lost a lot of weight, and you were plateauing for a while. I know that, and that was, that was kind of hard because, you know, you did so well for so long. And, you know, I'm doing so good, and then you're just kind of here. But that's normal, you know? Yeah. And you know that. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah, that, I've, but I could see where you're coming from. Yeah, it I've, gets I've, a little I've, frustrating. <laughs> well, I've actually gained a little weight. Uh-huh. Um, but, you know, I know why. It's because I'm eating... You know a lot of salt and mm -hmm. a lot of fat i'm not 
I'm not eating the diet that's best for me, that worked for me yeah. for the, you know, the week at Woodstock and the week after that in New York. I mean, I, that's when I felt the best ever in my life. It's too bad we can't have like that community everywhere we are. I know. Because if you had that community, you know you'd stay on it. Because yeah, I know absolutely. I would. I would too, you know. Yeah, it's it just, hard when you go out with friends and do different things, you know, to try and stay on track. It's not easy. No. You know, it, it isn't. And that's for sure. People could say it's easy, but maybe for some it is. Maybe yeah. they just have the, the ability to to just change things like that. I personally don't. Yeah. Well, I mean, I went I went vegan overnight. And that's I cool. mean, literally. I mean, it then that's been easy for And you've me. been like, staying vegan the whole time. Yeah, I, I've been vegan the entire time. Yeah. Um, you know, you can still eat vegan junk food. I mean, uh, I said the other day, like, I can drink a bottle of olive oil, and it's still vegan. Yeah, but Not it's the a- healthiest <laughs> thing for you in the world to do right, that. Right, yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's strange that, that that's been the easiest part of this journey, is remaining a vegan. Yeah. Like, it, it's just... I, it's just because something clicked in my mind. It just makes just, sense. Yeah, I mean, like the first yeah. week, like I said, the first week was kind of, it was rough. It was rough. I, I only had a few days of headaches, and but, you know, and there was some cravings for, you know, some burgers and stuff. And now it's just like, I smell a burger or like fried chicken or something. I'm like, oh, God, it yeah. just, it smells just like <laughs> nasty. I know what you're saying when we drive by like steakhouses and stuff. I, I just almost kind of get sick. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because my husband doesn't eat red meat anymore. He still eats a little bit of meat, but he's backing off. But we'll go by a steakhouse and I'll say, does that still smell good to you? No. Yeah. No. It's yeah, it's just, so strange it, when you it, make it that It gets to show. a point where you realize that's not even really food. It really isn't. You know? Yeah, like my not for us anyway. Yeah, my mouth doesn't water when I smell like steaks and hamburgers and chicken. Like my mouth waters when I smell like oranges. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, yeah. It, it, it's amazing. It's, it's a big difference. That's cool. Well, it was really good talking. I'm glad I you got too. to catch you before before I left, and I'm um, heading back up the road in a little bit. So, thanks Absolutely. so much, man. It's yeah. always good to see you, my friend. You too. Take care. Yeah. Be healthy. Yeah. Always. Always. <laughs> Eat fruit.